What's happening everyone? Zach Harold here with Archery Maniacs and today we are going to uh, do a review on the Valkyrie Archery Broadhead Delivery System. Um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I can't say enough about the Valkyrie Broadhead Delivery System. It just, it honestly blows me away. Um, so here is, uh, an example of the Jagger bomb that I am shooting. Um, uh, here is it next to a cell phone. Um, so I would say it's about an inch and a half, maybe into three quarters long. Um, this particular Jagger bomb is a 300 grain broadhead. <laughs> now I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, oh my God, there's no way that blah, 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 blah. But before you discount it, hear me out. Um, th these, these broadheads are designed to not just penetrate through bone, but basically crush it and explode it upon impact. Um, they're designed for extreme weight forward, you know, extreme front of center. Um, and they are, de they are designed for zero failure, okay? Um, and I am not kidding you, I have had complete pass-throughs on animals and dead centered a rock on the other side and all it did was barely bend the tip. I mean, these things are tough, tough, and they fly really, really well. This particular broadhead here has, I believe it is an inch and an eighth. Don't quote me on the, on the cutting diameter, but I do believe it is an inch and an eighth. And uh, something you might notice is what I, in a sense, basically called the tail, um, but it's uh, Valkyrie calls it the kingpin design. And what this does is this actually inserts, so there's all the way to where it would be, it actually inserts inside your shaft past the, uh, wow, why can I not think of that? Past the outsert, there we go. <laughs> It actually inserts in the shaft past the edge of your outsert, making it so that there's no failure point there at the end of your outsert. So, um, uh, so right here, you know, is a weak point, obviously. What this does is it inserts inside there and it removes the weak point for your arrow, which is awesome. So, uh, and the field points are the exact same. They have the kingpin design as well. So that's super, super important for strength and integrity. These broadheads are designed and they are so tough that they, it is expected that the shaft on a straight impact will crack and break before the outsert and the broadhead does. So I mean, these broadheads are extremely tough. They are, they come super sharp. You know, there's some broadheads out there um, that, uh, you know, claim that they are very sharp, uh, but I'm, I'm literally shaving with this broadhead. It is so sharp. And what's cool is Valkyrie also has an entire sharpening system. That, uh, that you can get from them as well, as well as instructions. So besides barring the fact of losing your broadhead, uh, you could literally shoot this broadhead for the, the next 10, 20 years. Yeah, no kidding, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding whatsoever. They are literally that tough. You know, and I, I cannot say enough about Brent Hahn, the founder of the company. He knows more about arrows and broadheads than anyone I've ever met in my life. And the man has put so much, uh, 
so much engineering and thought and time into designing the Valkyrie Broadhead delivery system um, because pass-throughs are now expected with the Valkyrie Broadhead delivery system. So with a 300 grain tip, um, this bumped my arrows up to right around 600 grain arrows. Keep in mind they do have a 250 and a 200 grain broadhead as well. Um, I shoot, uh, currently shoot, and this is not to brag whatsoever, I just currently shoot an 80 pound bow. Um, so I'm, I'm still able to get fast enough arrow speeds um, for me, you know, I'm not, I'm not a real speed guy anyways, but these things hit like a ton of bricks. Um, I shot uh, a doe deer quartering this way and it went in right here and it came out the point of the shoulder, went in several ribs, broke through ribs, and it buried this entire broadhead in a tree on the other side. I call it Brent and Brent goes, yeah, no problem. Just stick an outsert on there and get a claw hammer. <laughs> like get a claw hammer and a two by four and just pry it out of the tree and resharpen it and you're good to go. <laughs> like, holy hell. Uh, but yeah, you know, and Brent is super, super good to work with. Um, he has made his outserts to fit a lot of the, uh, a lot of the arrow manufacturer, you know, uh, the high end arrows. So like uh, some of the Easton arrows, some of the gold tip arrows, some of the victory arrows, you know, he's made them to fit common diameters for arrows. Uh, this shaft here is actually a black eagle shaft. Um, but uh, the, the, the weight forward on this is just insane. I haven't done the exact math, but uh, I am telling you, if you are sick and tired of shooting an animal, especially something like a white-tailed deer or an antelope and watching it stick in 12 inches like a pincushion and barely poke out the other side, if you are sick of that, okay, if you're sick of not getting very good penetration when you have a glant, you know, a quartering to or a quartering away shot, if you're sick of blades breaking, um, if you are sick of losing animals, I'm telling you to give the Valkyrie Broadhead delivery system a try because when you put, when you remove the, the unnecessary weight from your shaft and from the ass end of your arrow and you store the energy and the weight in the front of your arrow, when this hits, it doesn't bend and flex near as much upon impact, okay? What it does is it hits, and since all the energy is in the point, it just drives through everything that you hit. And also, you know, one second, let me put this broad head on here. <coughs> I don't know why I keep turning my head when I cough. I have a microphone attached to my head. Um, so, uh, so you can see the broadhead on here. I mean, it is a killing looking machine, you know, but the broadhead and the way that the, the very slender design, it makes it so when you have a very severe quartering shot, there's zero, zero glances, deflections, anything like that. It makes it so as soon as you hit bone, it drives through and it explodes and destroys the bone rather than glancing off and all this other bullshit that you don't want your arrows to do. So, if you're tired of mediocre and settling for less than the best and less than what you deserve, give Brent Hahn a call or go to his website, www.valkyriearchery.com dot com and it is spelled just like this i'm holding it up to the camera but for those of you listening it is spelled v-a-l-k-y-r-i-e archery.com um just know that when you go to look into these get as heavy as you can possibly go trust me it seems counterintuitive but as soon as you try it you won't ever want to go back again okay and also know when you look at them and you see that they're more expensive than um, maybe a rage or whatever else know that you could literally use this broadhead unless you lose it for literally the rest of your life okay and also know 
that as soon as you shoot and release this arrow, the rest of your hunt and everything else, if you hit your target, is dependent upon what is at the end of your arrow, okay? And I am telling you right now, you do not, I repeat, you do not want to have your entire hunt, you know, the whole entire weight of your hunt dependent upon a piece of junk broadhead, okay? Because there's nothing worse than losing an animal. It feels so crappy. So check out the Valkyrie Broadhead Delivery System. Like I said, they have other weight options besides the 300, but I would recommend going as heavy as you possibly can. Thank you so much for tuning into the show today. I'll be checking out next week where we look at one of the boning fletching jigs. Thanks guys, have an awesome day.